This is a highly requested video for my ladies that have hooded eyes or more mature skin. I hope this helps. If your eyeshadow tends to migrate down your face and go everywhere except your eyes, these tips will help. This can happen if you have hooded eyes or more mature skin because your skin is, tends to be a little bit looser. First step is prepping your eye area. You want to make sure that area is clean, so go in with a micelle water or makeup remover and make sure there's no leftover makeup or oil from the day. You want to have a clean surface. Next, go in with an eyeshadow primer. You want one that's going to be matte and long lasting. Eyeshadow primer will help keep the eyeshadow in place and make it last longer. If your eyeshadow slips, I recommend doing a primer over concealer because sometimes concealer can have oil in it. Use a fluffy or flat brush to make sure that the eyeshadow primer is evenly spread along your eye. I recommend using a brush instead of your fingers because your fingers can, can usually have oil on them. Then you want to set the eyeshadow primer that you just placed on your eye. Normally I wouldn't do this, but this will provide some extra hold and prevent any oils coming through the eyeshadow primer. This is the Huda Beauty Loose Powder. Then take a flat brush, it can be angled or straight, and place it back in the powder. And what you're going to do is stamp from your lower lash line to your temple. This is where you're going to want the eyeshadow to end normally. This also creates a lifted effect. You may need to apply a few layers on, but no worries, you can't really apply too much. Then take whatever eyeshadow you want to use. I'm using the Huda Beauty. It's the Ruby Obsessions palette. I'm going in with that peach shade. I'm using a fluffy brush and applying that all over my eyelid. I'm creating a V shape just for a lifted effect, but you can really do any eyeshadow technique you want with this. I'm just doing a simple eyeshadow look. What kind of eyeshadow technique would you like to see next? Comment below. If you're finding this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to finish off the eyeshadow look by placing that light pink color in the inner corner and bringing it halfway along my eye. Placing a lighter color on the inner part of your eye will open it up a bit. I'm tight lining my upper waterline and this is with the Sephora gel liner. Curling my lashes and then I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I know this mascara was viral for a while, but I actually have a, a drugstore dupe for it. Would you want to see a dupes video? To finish off the lower lash line, just place a little bit of powder under your lash line and then go in with your eyeshadow. I use the same peach color I was using before. Now for the best part, take a fluffy brush and wipe away the powder. You can tell how clean that looks and by setting the powder below the eyeshadow color, it's not moving anywhere. Did I mention this is great if you're in a rush too? Apply some mascara on your lower lashes and then you're done. Well, almost done. There's still one more step. But you can see that I have a crisp line and it's also giving my eye a little bit of a lifted effect. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and come back for the last step. You know you're at the end when you see the setting spray. Use a setting spray that either says matte or it's made to make your makeup last. I like the Scandinavia one and I also really like the Cali Ray one. There's a million out there, but one that list is listed as matte will definitely keep your makeup on longer. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did or learned something, definitely hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Comment below on other makeup struggles. I read all your comments and I would love to help out again.